Hello everybody, welcome to the finale of Justin and Megan play through the path to Carcosa. This time we are in uh, Dim Carcosa. Hey, you stay where you are. You stay right where you are. I was like, no. All right. It was almost, almost something hey. that happened. Hey, Megan, why you took it away? <laughs> okay, well, while Justin's doing that, we'll, uh, we'll read some intros. Um, check the campaign log. If we open the path below, which we did, I read it. We did not, one. we did above. Oh, we did above. Sorry. Intro two. Um, you land on a piece of black obsidian stone, winding up a dark spire. You cough blood and feel a searing pain in your gut as though you'd broken a rib. Before you lies a warped alien city. It twists, uh, its twisting streets and aberrant architecture have no semblance of order or structure. In the distance, a murky lake reflects the glare of two suns, when you look up, the Abbey of Mount Saint Michel peaks just below the clouds, flipped upside down. This is Carcosa, the realm of madness in the stars, where H word reigns supreme. Papa H, Big Daddy H. So his his sir. Yeah. Uh, we will begin play in the dark spires. Cool. So, madness coils, and now far away over leagues of tossing cloud waves, I saw the moon dripping with spray, and beyond the tower of Carcosa rose behind the moon. Mm. Oh, man, I love that. That's a good description. Good job, Robert W. Chambers. Uh, H, cannot, H word cannot be defeated. If there is at least six damage on H word, we advance this agenda. Cool. In Las Carcosa, you open the path to Carcosa in order to stop those who wish to free H-Word from his prison in the stars. Only you can put an end to this madness. When we have collected four clues, we must immediately spend them and then advance. Okay, so clues? Clues. 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 All right, I have to shuffle my deck now too. Sorry, everybody. I'm cooking lunch. That's what I have to do. And I have to take Russell out that you all saw. Um, if you want to take your first turn while I'm doing this, you can feel free. Sure. Um, I am going to make sure I have resources. And I'm going to start by. Okay. Pulling out the gold pocket watch. Seems like an okay place to start. And. Keep. Keep. Burn, burn, burn. We're going to pull out field work. Holy crap. <laughs> You're like, nah, I don't want to name it. And then uh, we'll move, I think. Yeah. Sure. Oh, what's the shroud here? The shroud is better here. <clears throat> Ooh, these are high shroud locations. They are. It gets easier the further you get into the city. There's a sense of symmetry here in beautiful Dim Carcosa. I'm a Carcosa fan. If uh, Big Papa H showed up Five, Papa H. and wanted to take over the world, I would let him. Just so, oopsies. Now we're, uh, I've only got one turn left. So I will investigate. Three to three. Because... There's no bad effect. So there is. Oh. This one is if you reveal another token, if you fail, take one horror. Ugh. So there actually is. Well, I'll move dangerously. Heck yeah. It's the only way to live in beautiful Carcosa. It's okay. I just fail. Okay. Uh, I'm going to spend four resources to bring out Dr. Milan Christopher. Nice. Um, and I think I'm just going to spend the last two to get rid of Bye. Psychosis because it's pretty hard in this one. <laughs> Taking horror is gonna happen to us here mm -hmm. and to turn resources and cards that's a nice draw boom we're up to three already this goes to you thanks brain three brain four five to three holy crap nice that's nice we're for all. Minus two. So we'll take two horror. Already have two remaining horror left. Oh, I totally could have helped you with... Well, I wouldn't have helped then you. Then I will you. search my deck for a madness. 
weakness and draw it. You're about to go insane. Things ain't great. That is not a madness. I mean, actually, I my other guy won from the top, so. Man. You see a lot of cards in this deck, so. What's up? Well, I got rid of uh, Liquid Courage because I hadn't used it at all so far, but yep. this would have been the one. Yeah, this, this would have been the would one. This would have been the one to keep it for. Yeah, I, I wasn't trying to advise you or give hints. No, so. I think that's totally uh, I have to test four to six. For Top what? card. Oh, it's back. Uh, brain. Five. Five to six. I'll get a plus one. Watch this, everybody watching at home. Or not. Dun, 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 dun. I take two damage. This old man's gonna die. This one. I don't. I'm not making it. I'm not beating Big Papa H. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> just, just <laughs> you know. <laughs> this is just you, Jenny. This is gonna be quick. Uh, quick. Holy crap. Oh no. Um. On the plus side, it's now our turn, and I can start doing what I do, which is investigating. Six to three. Doing the do. Just gotta focus. So that's one clue. I'm gonna grab my resources after. Mm -hmm. Let's go again. That's two clues. I'm going to pause and play a shriveling. Nice. And you can go. I'm good to use that stopwatch whenever, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey. Is it stealing time? I like that caption. That's funny. What's yeah. this shit? This shit's not just supposed to be here. Okay. I'm going to... Move in. Sure. To this one. So when you're at that location, you cannot play fast cards. That's but you can fine. play slow cards. You can play slow cards. Um... I will exhaust field work. Yep, yeah, to get plus two. To get plus two, so it's five to four. Good luck. Yeah, we're gonna do five to four and hope that I don't draw the green one. So no, these ones, it's not, only these two are connected to the palace. Good it kind of goes like that. Reveal another one. Five to four. It can't get worse than it did before. Do, do, do. You're good. You're good. See, I told you, old man's gonna die. He's like, it's gonna be exactly like how Lost in Time and Space went. Yorick dies, uh, uh, Ursula escapes. It's gonna be glorious. Good times, good times. Okay, so that's one, two. Let us. Do I have anything I want to do? I'm going to just gain a resource. Sure. Would you like to reuse a stopwatch now, or do you wanna wait a bit? Let's let's use the stopwatch. Sure. Um, how about I start us off? Because I'm just going to be getting clues. Six to three. Uh, that will not oh, yeah, end on yeah, exhaust. Right, yeah. Sorry, yeah. yeah. Because we missed the... We did. We must immediately spend these clues. Nailed it. Get a resource. All right. A shadow creeps along the wall beside you, and your heart leaps into your throat. You turn and a figure flits away just out of sight. Terrible. Either your mind is playing tricks on you or someone else is in the theater. You follow the direction of the shadow around in a nearby corner. At the far end of the hall, he stands awaiting you. The man who wears the pallid mask. The stranger whose steps you have haunted for so many weeks. You remember that you have been here before. The theater dissolves around you. The bright glare of two suns pierce into your eyes from above. Do you remember now? He asks. He turns and vanishes into the aether as if taunting you to follow. Spawn him in the palace of the king. Right, 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 right. Each investigator cannot discover clues. The man in the pallid mask cannot be defeated except by damage. When the man in the pallid mask can be defeated, we advance. So I'm just going to go here and here to get ready to go fight him. Pass to you. Checks out. Um... I'm going to three turns, hey. Eh? Move here and I will gain two resources. Nice. And to turn resources and cards. 
Bong. The clock of Papa H continues to tick. Ooh. Spawns here. Holy fuck. That's a big boy. He just kind of hangs out by the looks of it. Until yeah, when a creature else out of Demon's location or connecting location is flipped over, he attacks each investigator at the location. I have a hard brain test. Um, oh, we're not together. Anymore. Am I worried about it? No. Four to three. You're decently brainy. Minus two. We take two damage. Ouchie. Dang. I'm done. <laughs> Don't leave me, Norman. Don't this, leave me! This might be a quick video, everyone, on YouTube. Ugh. All right, I'm going to move in here. I'm going to engage him, and then I'm going to shoot him with my shriveling spell. Do it! So I'm attacking at 7 to 4. Huh. That seems pretty good. My goal is to just get to the point where Big Papa H is out. Maybe we can deal with him. Maybe not. Maybe we just die here. Seems like a plan. He'll take sorts. 3 damage. That's nice. Uh, he'll win your discard. Yep. Defeated by damage advance. Hmm. Oh, remove him from the game, actually. Oh, I'll let you look at the back, though, because it's some of my favorite art, so you can see the other side. Ooh, spicy. Will you read the text to me as well, but don't say the H word? I don't okay. know. <laughs> uh, the disguise is laid aside. Spawn the set-aside H word. Lord of Carcosa, enemy, at the man in the pallid mask's last location. Remove him from the game. All right. We got Big Pop. Oh, so this one is, uh, if there are no clues on your location, remove each investigator's clues from the game, flip your location over, and resolve the text on the other side. If he is defeated, we advance. So we just have to beat him. He has 18 health. Mm. Uh, he has Hunter and Massive. If his attack deals your horror in excess of your sanity, you take one damage as well. While, uh, that was close. <laughs> While H-word is being attacked or evaded by an investigator with no remaining sanity, treat each blessed token plus one, zero, or minus one token that investigator reveals as an autofail. This is especially hard on easy because there are more of those tokens in the supply. Yeah. Um, I am out of actions. Ooh, that's fun. Um, okay, so here's the plan, Megan. Here's what I propose. I think this is also unexhausted now. It is now. I'm sure. Uh, this is what I propose. I am going to die. That is inevitable in this world. <laughs> no, Norman! <laughs> I am going to attempt to put as much damage as I can on H-word. Yeah. And you need to do everything else. Uh... So flipping locations is good. Yeah. Because it deals damage to him or has other nice effects. Yeah. So I am kind of here and this might be it for me. Mm. Mm. Oh no. Okay, well, first things first, I'm going to put out Leo DeLuca. Yeah, good idea. Mm -hmm. And then... Another turning point, a fork stuck in the road. Norman Withers. He had a good life. No, we're gonna we're gonna investigate. Yeah, three to two. Yeah. Mm. 
Nice. Mm -hmm. Here we go. <laughs> Again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, she did yeah. it. Yeah. Okay, so then. So, would you like to flip this over? Yeah. He will attack you. Oh, because it's a. An adjacent, adjacent, adjacent location. location. But. That's probably fine. Yeah, this is the objective. So here, I'll put your damage. Do you want to put one on Leo and one on each on Leo, or do you want to do take it yourself? Uh, I'll split it. The damage on you is probably better. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, um, inhabitant, inhabitant of Carcosa. You encounter a man among the ruins of the city, haggard and tired. Good stranger, he says. I am ill and lost. Direct me, I beseech you, to Carcosa. You tell him that you believe you are in the realm of Carso Carcosa right now, and he falls to his knees in despair. No, but that cannot be. The man cries and raves, telling you more of the ancient and famous city. Through his or Though his words have little meaning to you, deep within your mind you begin to understand. Each investigator heals three horror. Oh! Oh! Beauty. Um, remove this card from the game and replace it with another set-aside copy... Move all investigators, enemies, and attachments from this location to the new copy. Add clues to it. Yeah. So of note, uh, after you also discovered the last clue, you also took one damage on that one. Sure did. Um... Sorry, Leo. Yep. Uh, you have one action left, though. I do. Um... Maybe there's hope for me yet. That healing was incredible. It helped. I, I'm happy to help. It really did. Yeah, I'll just investigate one more time. Cool. Three to two. Yeah. Wow, nice job. There you go. Thanks. All right. Uh, enemy phase. He's going to ding me for one and one. <laughs> Cards and resources. I don't have a terrible thing yet. Oh, good God. Ooh, okay. Goes to five. Evil card goes to you. Thanks. So. Well, Fuck. that's real unfortunate. I'm back to dying again. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. Okay. Uh, I will zap this Biaki. Yaki. I'm attacking at four, seven to three. Um, no, I'm being attacked. Yeah, I will switch it with a card on top of my deck. This guy will take three damage. I'm going to punch him at five to three. Five to four? Five to four. <laughs> Spend a resource? Let's just undo that action. Let's travel through time. Alright, we're gonna just shoot him normally. I'm running out of my uh, H word gun, so. So sad. Uh, minus two. This guy's dead, so he'll go on the victory display. There's a positive. Uh, and then with my last trick, I'll attempt to evade Haster at four to one. I can do this. <gasps> oh my god, you did it! Yeah, but I can't get away. But he won't attack me this turn, so I can get my bearings. That's something. Yeah, you're up. Hmm. Oh man, look at my life. Hmm. Okay. Um. Now seems like a reasonable time to move in and hit him with something and then run away. Sure. Yeah. Okay. So. 
we'll move in here. Yeah. Um, I will exhaust field work. That. Yeah. I will play Lupara. Lupara. Nice. So you have two actions remaining, which is the amount of bullets you have in Lupara. Yeah. Okay. So then I will shoot him. Okay. Um, so that's plus two, plus four. So seven. Seven, two, three. You do not have more sanity. You have more sanity remaining than otherwise. So you're good. Yep. Uh, -oh. uh Reveal another token. If you fail, take one horror. Seven feels... Not yeah, seven, seven, seven three is great. Do red. Nice. So he'll take how much damage? Three, right? Um, yeah, two from this one. Nice. Yeah. One bullet left. Are you gonna fire again, or are you gonna leave? Uh. Why not? I'll fire again. Sure. Seems <laughs> fine. Yeah. After um, Julie's let him outside, he's become more fiendish. Oh yeah, no, my guys, like, the second I, they knew about the outside world, they were like... They've changed. Like, yeah. oh god. <laughs> Later! Yeah. Uh, seven to four again? No, this is less, because I don't... Oh, okay, five again. to four. Yeah. Five to three, sorry, five to three. Uh, no, it's less, because it's... Oh no. Yeah, it still gets the still bonus, gets yeah, because yeah, it came in this turn, yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah, five to three. Nice. <sighs> All right, we have this, this advances. Because he has six damage on him. There's no way to get ammo back, yeah? Oh, uh, no, it stays in play. Oh, because it's one hand. Yeah. Takes up a... Space. Turning a corner, you nearly bump into a nurse with a light brown hair and sharp features. You tell her about the violent patients and the strange things you've seen, but she doesn't listen. When you inquire about Daniel, she informs you that he is a friend of the king and that he resides in the palace. The investigators must decide. Any investigator tests brain four to snap out of it. If successful... Advance to Agenda 2A. If you failed, you must choose an option you have yet to choose. An investigator tests Book 4 to remember that you've done this before. If successful, advance to Agenda 2A. If you failed, you must choose one you do. Uh, this can't be real. This can't be real. The, each investigator takes two horror and advances to Agenda 2A. Or the investigators faint and awaken sometime later. Advance to 2A and place one doom on it. So H word gets plus one fight as well as this, in this new level. Blech. He also stands up. Yeah, he does. Oh, we also draw cards and gain... No, no, this is happening right now. We're still yeah. in turn. Yeah. So he, ha he won't attack us this turn. I'll do book first at, five, at six to four. I, I appreciate it. I can do this. Yeah. No problem. Watch this, YouTube. Like a glove. All right, oh. we're good. Yeah, we're actually good. Amazing. Yeah, stress. Uh, all right. He stands up. He's engaged with both of us. What up? Uh, we draw cards and gain resources. What a modern relationship. Engaged with both of us. Yep. Yeah. Polyamorous with our good friend H-Word. Evil card for you. Thanks. Um, oh my god. Okay. Whoops. Oh. Dark. We're on the same location, are we? Yep. Shit snacks. I am double. <laughs> No, it's fine. I won't do that. I don't have to. It's not forced. Okay. I will just continue to hang on to this. <laughs> do you have two of those in your hand now? Two bad cards or just one still? Two. Two. All right. So there's certain things you cannot do. Yeah. Okay. Well, each word is awoken. I also found this fanatic. I think I'm going to just kill him just to get him out of the way. Um, okay. The part of this card is like... Uh, a ratio between my horror and my sanity. Yeah. It's too, too greater horror. Sorry. If I have horror on me greater than twice my sanity, is that like... Yeah, so you need 14. 14? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, hang on to this card. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah, you got a while. Um, I am going to provoke an attack of opportunity from Big Papa H Ooh. by playing this. So he is going to deal me two brain damage. Ouch. Ouch indeed. Uh, action three is I'm going to spend a charge from this to attempt to evade him at four to three. 
we will fail. Oh, so sad. Very sad. You're up. Mm. Well, darn. Um, does committing a card count as playing it for a type of card restriction? Okay. No. Yeah, commit and play are two separate keywords. Okay. Um, dang. On the plus side, he only has 12 health left. He does. I done good last time. Yeah. Um, I just wish I could play any card in my hand. <laughs> I think you should get out of here. You should go back to locations. He'll attack you, but he just deals two brain damage, and you're doing pretty good. Let me dance with him. Brain is scary. Okay, fine. Let's go over here. Yeah, two brain. What up? Your brain's very scary in Carcosa. Uh, you have three actions remaining? I have a card that makes it scarier, Dustin. At 14? Yeah. Yeah. You're a ways away. <laughs> okay. Um, I guess I'll investigate. Three yeah, to two. Try to... Keep going. Try to do the objective, My right? hand is basically useless right now, so... Reveal another token. If you fail, take one horror. Getting close <laughs> to that 14 count. Uh, minus two. So uh, you will fail, fail and take one horror. Dang. I have two actions left, though. Yeah. Let's try again. Heck yeah, you can do this. Just don't draw the green shit. All right, you got it. So you'll take one damage. Two. Would you like to flip it again? Yeah. This guy will attack you. That's fine. It's just one damage, right? Uh, one in each. Oh. Eh, it's still fine. Yeah. You, you have ten left to go. <laughs> Don't remind me. Uh, is it the same? It is not the same. During your exploration, you find an old crumpled building that makes for an ideal refuge from this world's dry heat and its horrifying creatures. For the first time since entering this realm, you take a moment to rest in the building's cool shade. The quiet calm soothes your aching muscles and weary mind, but you cannot stay for long. I must decide. Choose one. Hmm. Would you like to be disengaged from H word? Would I get to move away? Because I've already gone this turn. Not as a part of this, but it's he's exhausted and you're disengaged. Yeah, I don't get attacked. So yeah. What's the other option? I heal horror. <laughs> uh, do the other one, because then maybe I can like leave and do something. Okay. Um, can I heal horror on DeLuca as well? Or is it only... Oh, are you doing the heal horror one? Or the exhaust one? Sorry, do, which one do you want me to do? If you do the exhaust, I can do something. Yeah, yeah. then let's yeah. do that. Let's sure. do that, because yeah. I don't need to heal yeah. horror. Heal horror would just be on you yeah. in, that, in that case as well, just for... For future reference. For future reference. That's great. Yeah, okay, so choose an enemy in play, exhaust that enemy, and disengage it from all investigators. I choose. Screw you. Cool. And then uh, it gets removed and replaced with another set aside copy. Add clues. Yep, do the dance. Etc. Do you have one action left? Great questions. I moved and I took damage. Investigate, investigate, you have one action left. Flipping it doesn't cost. No, it's a lightning bolt. Sure, let's investigate. <laughs> Slowly going insane. How appropriate. Yeah, nice. I knew it. Nice. All right. Oh, Any I would have spent these, so it's back to yeah. one. Uh, enemy phase. He stands up. But I do not get attacked. Cards and resources for everybody. Ah, yet another useless card. Good card for you. Thanks. Spawn on a revealed location with the most clues. Oh, good. That's yours. 
No. <laughs> it's another fanatic? Yeah. Oh, fuck. Yeah. So this becomes... Oh, that's actually not bad. This becomes four, and he gets one. Okay. We are uh -oh, out we're of out of green dice. <laughs> Could be worse. Okay. I'm gonna attempt to evade this guy. Um, so we are four to three. Five to three. Oh no. We're good. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. All right, I'm going to use this opportunity to also move to a connecting location. Good. Also, H-word has Hunter. Mm -hmm. So he's going to fall. He's pissed. Sure is. Uh, we're then going to move down here for our last action. Get some space. Maybe I can flip some cards. Maybe I can, like, stabilize a bit. I think you should also do the same. Or do this one more time, see what happens. Okay, I'm going... I'm also going to use one of these just so we can have ha uh, ha 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 <laughs> uh, health on, on screen without him being buried in cards. So a different card for everyone watching at home. But same, same health. Yeah, same health. We're using this one. We have... I'll even count down. The final countdown. Okay, I'm going to spend two of my actions actions yeah. to get rid of this card so that i can do stuff can't play events yep. yeah that would definitely do it i have a handful of, of events, events. Yeah. um huh. and then I will try and investigate. Heck yeah. Minus two. Nope, don't do it. You have one action left? Yeah. I do, yeah. Do you want to come hang out with me or are you happy with H word moving in and attacking you? But I like the shroud value here. <laughs> sure, the shroud is nice. <laughs> um. I'm okay with him coming, because I yeah. have a lot of cards that let me, like, disengage and evade and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. We'll try one more time. Nope. Just kidding. All right, he comes and he parties. You take two brain damage. Oh, hello. On the plus side, Norman stabilized. Cards and resources for everybody. <laughs> That's a good draw. <laughs> Boom. Evil card for you. Thank you. No! Nice. Dang it. This is fine. Hi, Russ. Dang it. Another card? Yeah. It's the same one. That'd be funny. Yeah, it answers my question from before, though, because it's not the same one, but yeah. it's the opposite of what I was asking before. Nice. Yeah. Okay, our turns. That's fine. That's This is, this is fine. This is fine. Uh, I'm going to investigate. At uh, six to four. Wow, is this what breathing feels like? Uh-oh! It's not what breathing feels like. We're good. We're getting a clue and a resource. Let's do that again. Yeah, do it again. Do Six it again. to four. Grab it. Uh, let's flip this. I'll spend all of our clues. Nice. Oh, wow. Uh, a sudden rift in the clouds above allows you to see the sky for the first time since arriving in this strange place. The sky is orange tinted and devoid of darkness, but black stars shine above you. If the workings of earthly science mean anything in this world, perhaps you can create a map of the stars above to find your way home. You find a long stick and begin to draw in the sand. Each investigator heals three horror. <gasps> Yay! That's pretty clutch. Yeah. Deal four damage to an enemy in play other than H-word. Do it. This guy's gone. Do it. Because he's a thorn. In our sides. Yeah. Um, remove this copy and add another Bleak Plains to play. Nice. I have one action remaining. So you're leaving, you're staying there with Papa H, or are you going to be disengaging from him? I'm going to 
run away. Okay, so then in that case, I need to not be here optimally. How much damage does it deal me if I play a card? Two horror. If it ever deals you excess, it also deals you one damage. Okay. Um, I think grabbing the last, attempting to grab a clue, I think will be better in the long term. We'll grab the clue. You can go. Actually, I have to test this and then, well, you can go unless you need to, the bag of clue jets. Four to three. Uh, I think I would like to get rid of this. Five to three, please. Oh, it's a fast one, so. Um, I disengage from each enemy engaged with you and move to a revealed location with no enemies. <clears throat> nice, where are you going for? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice. Um, so does fast negate the damage or? Correct, yeah. fast does negate the damage. Cool. Great. Great. Yeah, that works. That does work. Okay, so that's one action? One action. Um, I will investigate. Yep, still do that. Look up. I need to look up rules. I haven't had to do this in a while. Investigate two to three. Good luck. Three to two, the other way. You have four actions left? Three actions left. What was your first? Oh, it was a fast play. Yeah. Four actions left. Nice. Pray. Oh. Oh, good luck. Three to f two? Three to two. <laughs> oh, this can get really bad. I was hoping that you'd have more horror than, so please pass this. <laughs> Oh! Oh my god, she did it! <laughs> oh no, oh no! Okay. Oh, I like your socks. Thanks. They're one of my favorite set. Okay, um, so I get one. And... Oh my god, pray key the pray keyword never matters. Really? It like rarely matters. Oh, interesting. Cause like right now he's it's prey most mm -hmm. remaining sanity. Yeah. But it always will just go to the closest person. So it's only when we're equidistant. Ah, uh, <coughs> that's fair. Yeah, no, I don't want to get rid of that one yet. That's fine. Uh, we'll just go three to two again. Please stop drawing green. Well, that's not great either. Minus two. Okay. Two actions left? Two actions left. Nice. Just gonna continue. Yeah, you can get... Did you do field work this turn? I didn't. You can retroactively say you activated it for this test if you want. Mucho gracias. Yeah. We're playing on easy. <laughs> um, so this is five to two then. <laughs> the drama continues. Nice. Yeah, okay. Uh, gain the clue. Would you like to flip this? Yes. Uh, you also lose your last action when you get the last clue on this. So That's you don't even need to worry about your last fine. action. <laughs> no worries. Um, uh, I think we can't do this till you have a window to do that. So let me just see when you have the next window for a lightning bolt action. We're getting, we're getting to the advanced part here. Um, investigation phase. Uh, after hunter enemies move, you may flip it. Okay. So he is going to move in to my location, and I think he can reveal it before he attacks me. Yes, yeah, so when he moves in, you may now flip it if you feel so inclined. I feel so inclined. Good choice. You find yourself easily lost within the city's narrow, twisting streets. Routes that should lead back to familiar places lead instead to new parts of the city, and retracing your steps is impossible. Perhaps objects here do not exist in three dimensions like they do on Earth. Conventional maps cannot possibly begin to depict the complexity of Carcosa's design. You explore the streets carefully and begin to puzzle out a shocking map of the city. Test book three. Shoosh. Okay. <laughs> Oh, I know what you meant now. When you asked, is committing a card the same as playing it? Because now you have the one that says you can't commit skill, card, skill cards to test. Nailed it. Justin's brain got there. Yeah. Okay, so I have to test book three. Three to three. 
everything I can. Nope, I can't commit anything. Wow, this is rough. Yeah. Yeah, just get a. Get, you know what you need to do? Just draw the blue shit. That's just what just I need. Just draw the blue shit. That's what I need. And then I can totally smoke it. Yeah. <laughs> she did it! She did it! Okay, so I deal one damage to Haster regardless. One per player. <laughs> so he and takes two. And then I take two. damage for saying H word. Oh, you do, yeah. <laughs> is it one of each? Um, it is one of each. Sorry, so he has ten. That means there's eight damage on him. That's what he has left? No, that's how much damage is on him. I'm counting up now because yeah. it actually matters for this. Yeah. Okay. Because I, you dealt him six, then you dealt him two again. And that's all the damage we've dealt him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because the other one you did <coughs> just healed. Um, and we can no longer interact with that one. Okay. Uh, now he attacks me. Uh, now we draw cards and gain resources. Wow, that's incredible. That's an incredible draw. That worked out well. I think we have the same one. Realm of Madness? No, the... the oh, the same thing? Yeah. That's funny. Um, discard cards from play and or from your hand with the total printed resource of at least X, where X is the amount of horror on my investigator. Um, okay, so four. Yeah, so you can do it from play, yeah, and in hand. So. That's three. Um, and... <sighs> we'll get rid of one of those. Cool. All right, it's our turn. Oh, God, this is stressful. <clears throat> I'm going to play Mind Over Matter. So this stands up. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to play Mind Over Matter for free. Nice. That's awful. Yeah. Real bad. You got a puppy dog. Uh, I'll problem. attempt to evade Big Papa H. We have six to three. I was really hoping to not get you. Um, oh, fuck me. I suppose I'm gonna do the mists. We good? Nice. So we'll evade him. We can move for free to a connecting location. We'll go here. I will investigate here at six to two. Uh, yeah, I've already played off the top of my deck. Can't do that again. Grab that clue. Um, I'll flip that. Do it. And I'll take one damage as well. One away from death. <laughs> but I'm doing what I can. This is terrifying. Yeah, this one's tough. <laughs> Uh, in the outskirts of the city, you find a ruined mausoleum. Its entrance is not like uh, is not unlike the entrance to the catacombs of Paris. Archways of stone decorated with bone and mocking skulls. The yellow sign is inscribed in a stone above the final archway. Uh, archway, rather. The narrow, cluttered passageways leads into a circular chamber with a domed ceiling. In the center of the chamber lies an egg-shaped coffin made of stone, unmarked and firmly sealed. Curious, you attempt to open the coffin. It takes all of your strength to pull the heavy lid off, and it slides to the floor with a resounding thud. Inside, you see a familiar face, a woman in a tattered dress, her countenance noble and grim. Deal two damage to Papa H. <gasps> Yay, Papa H. Um, for the remainder of the game, this card can never be flipped over. We must immediately advance as well, because he has ten damage on So we got two that can't be flipped now. Cool. Yeah. It's easy. They don't have clues on them. Yeah. yeah. Ah, if it isn't our final guest, the doorman announces. Miss Divine, your presence here has been long awaited. The creature slithers up the side of the palace. You swear that you swear you've seen the symbol on her amulet before. Wait, that can't be right. Well, now the real party can begin, it roars. Spawn this guy here. Oy vey. Uh, shuffle these together. Those are my actions. I don't think you've gone yet. I have not gone yet. Uh, how confident do you feel in the depths of Demhi? Mm. 
Um, okay. I can either... I can either go do that. Yeah. Uh, um, and I will probably end up going five to four. Yeah. Can you get rid of your thing, then move in and do it? Um, yes. Also, but if I moved in here, neither of these two would engage with me. Correct. Right? Yeah, you could also go in there. Do you also have a way to run away from them easily? Yeah. I think that's a good idea. Because they won't engage with you until the end of the phase. So they won't be able to attack you this turn. Oh man, look at my life. So we're not going to get any other dim streets. What are the other ones? Okay, in that case, I'm going to move in. I'm going to uh, play sneak attack. Oh, nice. On this guy? Yeah. Or we're going to kill my dog. No, well, unless you really want the dog dead. Uh, no, I can eventually kill the dog. <laughs> yeah, do Pop, it. Pop H? Yeah, he has six health so remaining. that was two. So you have two actions left. Um... Are you just going to try to kill the fucker? Because that would be pretty sweet. That would be really oh, sweet. Shoot, I forgot to do my field work again. Go for it. That was part of it. Yeah, just go for it. Exhaust it. All right, fine. I guess it, well, I guess it wouldn't matter for that one because it's not a skill test. Anyways. Exactly. Yeah, I'll put this in your discard. Oh, thank you. See ya. Um, okay, and then I'm just going to try and punch him. Punch Papa H? Punch Papa H. So he has plus two fights. So he has five, just so you know. That's fine. Cool. Because I'm going to use a cheap shot. Nice. So then you have three, six, eight to five? Because you have plus two from your field work? Yep. Awesome. <clears throat> yep. Go for it. Did it. Awesome. He has five health remaining. This feels good so far. Can we stop Big Papa H? Okay, so that's one, two, three. Oh, that's a. That's I'm a going to right GTFO. Sure, we're gonna move to the last two. one. Um, Shores of Halley. The dim streets. I'm planning on moving my way up here and hopefully flipping these. Because now I feel like I can breathe again. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe I'll come... down here. If we stay in the same area, we can help work with each other. I could come here. Is yeah. the other way I can Let's go. do that. Let's stay together. Friends! Alright, end of turn? Yep. Resource and cards. Neither of these guys have Hunter, right? No. These guys stand up. Okay. Fun. Oh, I missed the keyword on that. Sorry, everybody watching at home. What was the keyword? I couldn't have this revealed. Oh. Oh, test brain three. That's fine. That's actually pretty soft. Can't commit anything. Dang it. Three to three. I'm okay with taking horror. We're just going to go crazy. Oh, oh yeah, you are. we're going crazy. I'm officially insane. Woo! Crazy old man. Woo! <laughs> okay. We're here for the party! 33, 33, 33! Minus two. Doesn't count. So you'll take two points of horror? Yep. Alright. We're going crazy and ha. Okay, it's our turn though. I'm going to shortcut my way up here. Bye! Goodbye. I will investigate. You disappear through a wall. Yeah. Six to four. Watch this. That's minus four. We fail. Rip. Action two. Oh, we'll play this is fast. Action two. Seven to four. Maybe I go eight to four. Can I go eight to four? I'll go eight to four. Did you get rid of that thing that you had that was the same as my thing? No. <laughs> 
Uh, it's not though. I'm talking about a different one. Ah, a different thing. Uh, we'll commit this actually for action too. I'm gonna name Skull. Because that's like an always skull. Roger. Hey, Roger. Plus two. So then we have eight minus this. Zoop. Zoop, zoop. Get this. Flip it. Flip it real good. Holy shit. Nothing in this realm seems to make sense. The stairs before you both ascend and descend. The cloudy depths sink and rise and sway and yet remain still. You are floating in the cloud wisp of mist and swimming under the sunken waves. The stair are just a part of your imagination. You decide to jump. Each investigator heals five horror. Best friends. That is pretty sweet. Uh, remove this card from the game and add the remaining depths of Demi. So I think... Oh my god. I think I'm going to investigate because they're not going to catch up to us this turn. Seven to four. Good. Oh, I'm not seen anymore. Wow, that actually is good. <laughs> I healed myself. Nice. Your turn. Uh, you may go. <laughs> <laughs> I may not be insane, but I act insane. <laughs> well, you know, that's most of my friends. <laughs> okay. This guy doesn't have Hunter. Nope. So he's just gonna hang out. He's just gonna be like, okay, well, bye, friend. Yeah. I thought we liked each other. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling more optimistic. No, that's not good. You shouldn't feel optimistic. We should be scared. Very afraid. I was in a very bad position, but I've escaped from it. This is what fresh air feels like. Yeah, I you're... just walked up and down the depths of Denny at the exact same time. <sighs> yes. I'm in a good place emotionally. Yeah. Um, oh, I can get rid of that because I did not succeed, but that's fine. Um, what do I do with my turn Oh, here? fuck. I'm an idiot. I can't play this. Why not? At the depths of Demi, you can't play fast actions. Oh. Fast cards. Shoot. That was the only fast card I played at the depths. So I don't think it changed anything because I was still two above. I was six to four. Yep. Yeah. So I don't think it ever came to minus three. Well, YouTube will yell at us. Yes, YouTube. You can yell at me. You can say, Justin, why would you do that? This video will come out in early July probably. So I'll forget it <laughs> when it, you say that comment. Yeah. So can you please also put the addendum... This is about the time you played the fast action and then got a clue that you shouldn't have. And he will be like, I don't know, I've played this game so many times, <laughs> I don't really remember anything. Anyways, um, oh god, what do I do with my life? What do I do? You what should do I do get out of that location no matter what. Uh, yeah. Should I would even field work your way in here, investigate a five to four. I think it's worth the time. Okay. Or is it better to go up here? I that would also be good. That work. would be good. Yeah. Yeah. So one. To field work it up, investigate five to four, live the best life that you can live, <sighs> yeah, while also being unable to commit anything. I can't commit, Justin. No, normal Withers doesn't want commitment, he wants the polyamorous relationship <laughs> with Papa H in the palace of the king. You did it, nice. Um. I could go again for three to three. Or I could draw a card. Mm. <laughs> if a card refers to an investigator Dealing damage or horror to an investigator at lo your location, can it be you? Yes. Okay. It can be you, yes. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to draw a card as my last action. All right, this, uh, he no! chases us. Oh, no. Crap. All right, uh, yeah, draw fun. cards and gain resources. Oh. No. You drew a bad card off the top of your deck? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Not a bad, bad one. Just like an inconvenient one. I get you. Um, Surge. If you have no remaining sanity, play two Doom on the current agenda. I have remaining sanity. Oh, what up? Winged one. Winged. 
got a lot going on over here. Um, so some fun, oh no, this guy spawns in the Bleak Plains. Oh yeah. Yeah. I... So some fun things happen. For each cultist enemy in play, move one clue from that enemy's location to that enemy. So he actually will suck up this clue because he is a cultist. Suck it up. Which is actually really nice because it makes it a bit easier. Mm -hmm. The only problem is I feel like we might have to go back to here to finish things off unless we fight this guy in the streets. <laughs> We take this outside. So this guy, they each get plus one fight for each doom on them this turn. Mm. I'll investigate. At six to four. Minus two. I will flip this. You come across a set of steps that look similar to the grand staircase of the palace from Act 1, Scene 4 of The King in Yellow. The very same stairs that Casilda nearly fell down when she fainted upon seeing the stranger for the very first time. Shattering your reverie is the sound of a woman's gasp. When you look up, you see Casilda at the top of the stairs, her expression shocked upon seeing your face. You rush up the staircase and catch her as she falls, wrapping your arms around her body. She dissolves into the cloudy mists around you. Deal two damage to Papa H. Nice! Action two, I'm gonna move up here. <gasps> hey friend. I'll flip this. Thank you, friend. The fall. A woman stands atop a tall balcony, her yellow dress tattered and stained. You call out to her, but she does not respond to anything you say. Then you suddenly remember a scene from the King in Yellow in which a woman plunges herself into the streets below. Terrifying. You, are you seeing the past or the future? You must decide. You cannot bring yourself to do what must be done. Flip this card back over. Realizing what, or realizing what you must do, you step forward and push her. Blah. Take two horror and deal four damage to Haster, which will kill him. Yeah. So I'll take two horror. Yeah. Yeah. He will take six. He'll take actually seven. So that means he has 19. This guy has 18 health. We win. Let's advance this. We did the thing! We did the thing! Uh, a chorus of cries echoes throughout your mind. Chaotic organ chords torture your ears. You fall to your knees and blood drips from your eyes. The realm of Carcosa shatters into a million pieces and fades into the empty void of space. Curtains fall. That's us winning, huh? Wow. <laughs> Sounds scary. Yeah. Uh, which one did we fight? fight? Lord of Carcosa? Yeah. R3. All right, something really cool is going to happen better, that I really like. It better. <laughs> a really good ending happens that I like here. When you awaken, you are sitting in the Chuar Gothic, the shower Gothic, <laughs> of Mont Saint Michel's Abbey. No rain pelts the glass of the windows above, and you hear no thunder, nor the screeching of winged horrors overhead. Somehow, you have escaped. You creep to the door of the Abbey and open it with trepidation. A dazzling light sears your eyes, and you lift your hand to block the glare of the sun. You stand overlooking beautiful Mont Saint Michel. Seagulls fly over the abbey under a backdrop of cloudless sky. The waters around the abbey are calm and azure blue. I've been looking all over for you! You hear a voice exclaim behind you. You turn with a startle. For a moment, you expect to see the stranger in his pallid mask, mm -hmm. but instead, the boat captain you'd hired to take you to Mont Saint Michel stands at the edge of the steps, smiling at you. Are you ready to head back? In your campaign log, record the investigators prevented Haster from escaping his prison. In your campaign log, record the names of each investigator who ended the game with at least one copy of the Possession Treachery in their hand. I had one. Did you have one? The Possession Just treachery? that it says Possession and it's... Oh. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Cool. So we each had one. So we both are on there. We each suffered two physical trauma as they never fully recover from their time spent in Carcosa, the Realm of Madness. We also earn experience and five bonus experience, but we're not continuing the character, so I'm not going to write it down. Finally, we go to the epilogue. Read this only if the investigators won the campaign. Check the campaign log. If at least one investigator was possessed, only those investigators read the epilogue. Otherwise, we do not re read it out loud. But because uh, we both were, we both get to hear this story. Nice. It has taken months of preparation, but you're finally, but you're finally ready to unveil your latest work to the world. Gathering financial investments was your first task, of course. That hadn't taken too long, given the connection you made during your stay in Paris. You have been assured that the cast assembled was the finest that money could afford, but still you strive to make everything perfect. It must be perfect. The story must be told so that the world knows. 
You've heard the troop whisper behind your back, the remarks about your bizarre passion, the concern about your piercing yellow eyes. It matters not to you. All you care about is the performance, the pronunciation of the words, the melody of Casilda's song, and the design of the stranger's mask. This would be the greatest performance of the King in Yellow ever. Cool. I like it. We went nuts, and now we try to solve how we bring Haster back. We have di we have different ones, or they're the same? Uh, the thing I was asking about is the same. Yeah. We have different. Yours is traitorous, and mine's murderous, but... Oh yeah, and I could commit this to a skill test to automatically fail it, and then I lose it from my hand. But yeah, I wasn't. Too I just worried. had to deal two damage to an investigator yeah. at my location, and I was like, you know what? Fourteen's <laughs> a long way away. It's fine. <laughs> there is a card, a weakness called Dark Pact. It's a personal weakness that you can get uh -huh. that has that exact same text. Yeah. Um, but it punishes you if it's in your hand at the end of the game. Uh, it's pretty cool. Yeah. Well, that was the Path to Carcosa. We did it. We beat... I was not expecting us to win, no, to be honest. No, no, I no. was getting very... When we started that, that was stressful. Pessimistic, but yeah. a few good location flips. You just tanking that guy and then yeah. me being able to kill him yeah. really gave us the way to a win. Uh, but did we win? Because we just put on the show ourselves. Yeah. yeah we, you, won. we won. We won. We won, but... Haster's coming the back. The world lost. Yeah, but we but won. But we won. And that's what matters. <laughs> Bye, YouTube.